Hi, my name is Jameson Blanford, Technical Marketing Engineer with Cisco Systems. Today we're going to be talking about the bring your own device phenomenon where a variety of users are going to bring in things like an iPad or an Android device and want access to corporate resources or internet only resources and it's important to provide differentiated access for bring your own devices and corporate assets. Now it's also important for the solution to provide simple and secure device provisioning and also resolve the situation of a lost device so that the IT help desk does not have to get involved. Now let's walk through the example of getting a new iPad into the network. Let's bring in our employee, Imran. Hi, Jim. How are you doing today? Good. So I just bought a brand new iPad, and I want to access the network using my iPad and mm -hmm. all the resources that I'm used to. So we'll walk you through the process of provisioning the iPad and getting it securely on the network. Now let's go ahead and connect to the Corporate Secure SSID. In this case, it's named as BYOD.1X. So as soon as you hit it, you'll be asked to enter your credentials. I'll enter my corporate assigned credentials. And we are connected to the network. Now let's go ahead and open the browser and try to access a resource which is blocked by a corporate policy. You can see that as soon as we hit that resource, and we're redirected to the provisioning process. So the first step is that ICE will push a certificate of the CA server on the device. We'll install the certificate. Second, it redirects you to this customizable uh, device registration portal where you can enter additional information about your device. So we'll call it Imran's iPad and hit on register button. At this point, ICE will configure two things for your device. First, it will configure the supplicant to do a certificate request, and it will also configure the supplicant to connect back to the corporate secure SSID. At this point, we have both the profiles installed, and now let's go ahead and try to access that resource again. And you can see that now we have full corporate access as per your policy. As you know, BYOD means the users are going to bring in a variety of devices trying to get access to the network. That means not just Apple devices, but Android as well. Now I'm going to bring in Damador, who's going to walk through the provisioning process for an Android. Hey, so today we're going to take this Motorola Zoom and make sure that we automatically provision the Wi-Fi profile, the certificates, and make sure that the cert this client gets on the network in a very secure manner. On the Android tablet, let's log into the corporate network using the employee credentials and password. Now that we are logged on to the network, let's try and access a resource that's restricted by the corporate BYOD policy. Now the ICE recognizes this as a new foreign device and redirects it to the self-registration portal. Once the registration is done, the client is redirected to the Android marketplace where it is prompted to install the Android Cisco Network Setup application. Now let's go ahead and download this application on the device. This application provisions the device with the user as well as the root certificate provided by the Identity and Services Engine. And it also makes sure that we associate to the enterprise network using these EAPTLS credentials. Now once provisioned, we can access the restricted as well as the corporate resources. So now we've provisioned two different devices, an Android device and an iPad device, but how do you manage those devices yourself as an employee without placing additional burden on the IT organization? That's really where the Identity Services Engine, My Devices Portal, comes into the picture. With that console, you can go ahead and manage your own devices and revoke the credentials as needed. Let's drill down into that console. Now I log in with the same identity credentials that I used on my previous devices. And as you can see, I'm presented with a list of both my iPad and my Android device where I can go ahead and edit the description, delete the device, or even revoke the credentials if I lost it. Now let's explore the scenario of a lost device. Now let's showcase the example of a lost device scenario by here we have an example iPad which is streaming a live traffic cam. Now we're going to go ahead and click revoke the access for that particular iPad 
and see what happens to the iPad as its credentials are revoked. What's happening on the back end is the identity services engine is actually going, sending a termination to that specific client on the controller, and then now all of their access is now black holed to a specific page, showcasing that the device has been lost. So what have we shown here today? We've shown that Cisco Identity Services Engine provides simple and secure onboarding of BYOD devices such as Apple or Android so users can get their devices on quickly and self-manage them and without placing additional burden on the IT help desk. Now in addition to that, in comparison to competitors, users can revoke the access for their individual devices, reducing help desk calls and reducing that burden on IT to support the BYOD phenomenon.